guys, it's Christina from craftingwithchristina.com and today is not going to be a tutorial. I'm just going to give you guys a sneak peek of some of the products I've been working on. I've mostly been working on my daughter's um, school scrapbooks since that's a big thing in her life right now. Um, she's finally starting elementary school. So we're all registered and it's the first day of school is days away. I can't even say a week away, days away and she's really excited so to get us in the school mood i started working on this scrapbook with her so i want to show you what i've been using for that so for um my book i decided to go with an eight and a half by 11 scrapbook just because 12 by 12 is huge and i sometimes like to play with different sizes also um i really like the shape of this it looks square a little bit on the front and this was a really good deal. I picked this up at Michael's. This is a recollection scrapbook. And I picked this up for $7.99 or so. It was on sale for, you know, it's the regular price is around $15. So I picked it up for around seven with a half price um, coupon. And I want to use this for most of her grade levels, um, as many grade levels as I can. It's a D-ring binder, so I know it will fit a lot because most of my binders, actually all of my binders are now D-ring. So for this front page, I didn't want to put a picture in there because I want to use it for multiple years. I just wrote school and I used some paper from this stack. This is the Die Cuts with a View Education stack. I think this came out last year. Not 100% sure. I haven't bought, so paper. okay, I'll just tell you this right up. I haven't bought paper in a long time and I haven't really been looking at what's new for a long time since I've been so busy with work but um, yeah I, I have no idea what's new so this is what I ended up buying it was I got it for ten dollars it's originally $19.99 I used a 50% off coupon um, when you guys go shopping and you know you're gonna get something well make sure you bring your husband or your sister-in-law or your mother-in-law just someone and they can pick it up for you and give a second coupon or if you have a phone app you know, get everything for half price if you have enough people with you. And do separate transactions. Um, I'm sure you can find all the details about this paper online. Um, this is nothing new. It's new to me, but um, it's got glitter, some of the embossed papers, some of these papers that, you know, all about me page, which I guess would work great if you're uh, doing a 12 by 12, you can just have that filled in, but uh, I'm not doing that. Some various different colors and patterns. So, one thing I thought was cool was usually in die cut with a view stacks, they have um, the page that's full of borders. I like to use those. And they also have like the tag page, which um, they don't have in this one. They have something else. I'll show you if I can find it. Oh, here. You should the tag page. Which is like, um, usually it's like a, a collage of different tags that you can cut out and use in your projects. This one um, is a lot like the Christmas one that I have as well. It's got very, a bunch of different elements. And I really like these because they match your paper. But they are a pain to cut out. So I had to take a lot of time to cut out the pieces that I wanted to use. I use this crayon, set of crayons um, on the cover. But we've got little banners here. I use some of those. We've got like little swag banners, little things little stars so I ended up using a ton of it this is the actual one page I have left I use a ton of it different elements because you know they're like free embellishments that match your paper why not so that's what I used for the cover I used um, I got these at Marshall's for a dollar fifty um, they are called hugs Hug stickers and they are in vanilla but they actually look more like yellow like a pale light yellow so they work good for this I don't know what um, I think this is Valentine's Day for some stack so opening up I've got a title page here because um, I want to use these for multiple grade school levels I wanted to have you know way to separate them so I used my Stampin Up round tab punch and just use a piece of cardstock and using you know ATG tape just taped it here to the side and I wrote my own handwriting PK and then the years my school year um, this is a cutout 
from Lettering Delights. Lettering Delights Totally School, a toad, pre-K. I just um, cut it out in red cardstock. Then I used my Polka Dot Basic stamp from Paper Tray Ink. And I stamped it with some white chalk ink to give it a polka dot look. I use a piece of Recollections 8.5 by 11 cardstock, um, a 3 by 8.5 strip of pattern paper. And then I took a, a piece of Navy Recollections cardstock, mounted it with a piece of white computer paper. That's 5 by 7. So this is my placeholder for her school photo. Because I thought, what a great way to do a school book if I have the first page your school photo and then you know every year you see you can flip them back like oh this is this grade this is this grade etc you can see how she like grew over the years but that was so cute and then I just used some of those banners I put on pop dots and using some timeless twine and a darning needle which is a needle with a really big hole I, I basically sewed the twine through the banners and attached it like that so really simple okay so on the second page I used um, just some green and white cardstock some craft cardstock for the borders um, all from recollections no I'm lying the white and craft are from recollections and this green is from coordinations also from this stack here so um, this is the safari kids stack I was flipping through this um, and I found this really cute alphabet, I don't know, alphabet glitter paper. It's pink. You know, I was looking through it. I was like, oh, it's so cute. And I also have the card stack stack that matches um, this paper. And I thought, oh, I don't think she's a green. It's going to be a frog page. Bam, easy. So I just used, um, I guess, a half a sheet of, a half a sheet of, you know, six by twelve, a six by twelve strip of this paper, and then I use just one eight and a half, no one twelve by twelve piece of paper for these two pages actually, because what I did was I I only cut this is why I have a matter on them I only cut this much and this much like the the paper does not extend underneath um, the pattern paper like there's there's literally no paper going underneath but you couldn't tell that. If I didn't just tell you, I just you cut out strips um, and then assembled it to make it look like an eight and a half by 11 page. So this is just one piece of paper. This is another strip. This is one piece and that is another piece. I couldn't get two full eight and a half by 11s any other way out of an eight by 12. So that's my little cheat method. So I don't know. And that's how I came up with this layout. So um, this little guy here is from lettering delights totally school as well he's a little froggy um sitting on a desk he's got a pencil he's cut at i think three and a half inches i want to say this um little title it says ready freddy which is the name of the program and i cut that out using my make the my make the cut software i don't know either silhouette cameo software or make the cut software i have both i think they cut them both with my camera using make the cut um I just welded some of my uh, font LD whale tail font and um, with that cute little title. I love that that font. It says Ready Freddy. So uh, what the program, what the Ready Freddy program is, is to prepare kids for school by getting them excited for school. They have like the characters of frog and um, you have like orientations. You have to go to the school, meet the teachers. You have to have um, lots of half days, like little mini days of school before the school year starts. So this is about that. You have to do little projects with the kids so they're excited when the school year starts to prevent absenteeism and, you know, you know, kids, they never want to go to school. So this is a, a, a good way to get them hyped up. My daughter, she didn't even need this program. She just hopped up as it is. So this little frog here is the actual little logo for Ready Freddy. And it says here, I will attend school the first day and every day. So I got three pictures. From that program that I wanted to put in here and that's that page um, this page right here is like my pride and joy um, it's another eight and a half by eleven page 
This time I started with a, a craft cardstock base and I assembled this cut. This title cut is from Miss Kate's Cuttables. If you haven't used her project, your, her cuttables, her SVGs, her studio files on the Silhouette Studio Store or anything, she is amazing. Look at this detail in this little thing. It's got like a paper, a clip, all these letters, all these colors. And they're so easy to put together and they're so freaking cute. So um, for this page, I wanted to look like school. So I craft cardstock, um, eight and a half by 11, and then about a half an inch or a quarter inch in, you know what I did, I put a piece of coordinations, black magic, white core cardstock. And I sanded the edges and a little bit on the paper so it looks dusty just like chalk. Um, this paper here is a mat for a 4x6 photo. I didn't put uh, another paper on there because I'm like, hey, it's 4x6, duh. Um, that's where I get printed anyways. And then I have this really highly detailed backpack from Miss Kate's Cuttables. Um, it comes with one of her files. I'm going to link to all these uh, things that I use on, on my blog post at craftingwithchristina.com so you guys can see that. But it's got a school book, a pencil, an apple, a protractor, another apple little zipper tags it's so cute and I'm gonna take pictures of these and look at the end of the video so I did that um, you guys may have seen these two cuts on my Facebook page because I was showing you know what I was working on since I haven't been posting so let me just get a piece of this in here I need to cover up something on the next page Okay, so, uh, maybe this page. actually this will work better. Okay, so I'm just covering up my daughter's school information, the name of her school and her teacher, just for privacy concerns. Um, you know, the world is crazy. Um, this is a school interview that I made for Phoebe. It says this is how I write my name. And then she has her little name written out. I put um, some of those die cut. Get this out of the way. I put some um, die cut stars. Oh, I think that was black. Even lighter a little bit. Did a good job. Okay. Some die cut stars up here, and she wrote her name, <laughs> age, and this is three. Height forty two inches. Weight forty one pounds. Um, and then she's got some more things here. Favorite color purple. Uh, favorite food, mac and cheese. Uh, favorite TV show, Doc McStuffins. Uh, when I grow up, I want to be working with mommy because she always wants to do what I do. And then I'm excited to learn how to read. I just used some strips of the um, edumacation paper. Uh, I used some coordination cardstock here, the black paper. And then I used the white gel pen. I wrote the alphabet all the way down. I used some red timeless twine tied around to a bow. So. That's a really simple page and it goes together with the two pages. So that's what I have so far in her scrapbook. And I hope to do more videos once I have more, you know, in here so I can show you guys what's going on. But that's it. I hope you guys like this and it gives you some ideas for what to do um, to celebrate your little one's school year because it, go by, it goes by so fast. And I know I wish I had um, all, the infer, all the little, you know, pictures and things like that from when I was in school so it's a very special time for kids so uh, a great time to be scrapbooking so if you have any questions or concerns on any of the projects or materials that I featured here please do not hesitate to use the contact me form or leave me any comments I will reply to them as soon as I can um, that's it and I hope you catch you guys for the next one thank you so much for watching crafting with Christina you guys have a great day bye, -bye.